Welcome to a new episode of our weekly series, COVID-19 Science and Context. I'm Sabina and joining me today is Professor Crystal Donnelly of the REACT study. Crystal, the REACT study has now completed round 15. What are the main findings of this report? In this survey, we had results from over 100,000 people and we found that 1,399 of them were positive. That means we had a prevalence or a percentage that were positive of 1.57. That's one in 64 people. That is one of the highest prevalences we've seen in our 15 rounds of this survey, where the first was in May 2020. But also we found that this was twice as high as the prevalence had been in the previous round. So there had been an increase between September and October. Specifically looking at groups, we found approximately a 5% prevalence in children aged 5 to 17. And that's really important because that means that 1 in 20 children were positive at a particular time. Now, of course, that's just at one point in time. And if you looked over a wider period of time, what proportion had been infected, it would be even greater. So vaccinating children can help these numbers from rising further. What did your study show on impact of vaccines? Well, when we look to see how vaccination can help prevent infections, so that's any infection, regardless of whether or not it showed symptoms, we found that those that had been vaccinated with just a single dose were 56% less likely to be positive. So already showing an important reduction in risk. But then when we look at symptomatic infections, so having some of those classic symptoms affecting taste and smell, as well as fever and persistent cough, it was two thirds protection. In comparison, children are less likely to develop severe disease. Why is it important to vaccinate this age group? If they're vaccinated, then they're less likely to get infected and therefore they won't have the COVID-induced interruption of their education. They're less likely to infect other people at home as well as their classmates. But most importantly, they're less likely to affect people who are particularly vulnerable and maybe more likely to have severe infections that could even result in hospitalization or death. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you.